Hey, welcome to Mercy Couture Wigs YouTube channel. All right, so we have everything wigs that you need. Hair tutorials, behind the scenes footage. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. MercyCoutureWigs.com Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below and leave a comment, all right? So today's video is going to be me installing a U-part wig, all right? I've already done this, but we're gonna do it again and show you how I install my wig and my basically hair routine, when I my wash day routine. All right, so these are the products that I use. I use Bergagio, Bergogio, excuse me, little scrub. I'm also using a head and shoulder shampoo. I am using um, Paul Mitchell, and I'm using um, Ottawa, all right? So I'm gonna leave all the products below. So I washed my hair and everything. This is my hair washed, and I'm just basically blow drying it. And I'm speed blow drying it because I'm um because this video's you know just don't want to make it too long. But I am blow drying it with a Kaposi hair dryer, and I'm using the Ion, and I'm using this wide tooth comb to comb out my hair pretty much. Now I just want it to be pretty much manageable and just a very detangled so i'm not blow drying it super straight i'm just blow drying it whereas i can comb it and it's not going to tangle up every time i comb it and i can push a comb through it basically all right so this whole detangling thing is also because i'm doing the u part and i'm not sewing in the u part so sewing on the u part so i want my hair to have a little bit of texture to it because if it's too straight then the combs are just going to go through the hair so if i have a little bit of some wave or curl or whatever kink or whatever just a little bit of texture it will hopefully not cold go through once i'm braiding it if that makes sense i hope it does all right so i am just pretty much just drying it i am it's gonna be a big old afro but i'm just drying it i'm not permanently straightening it like i said and i'm using it on high heat yes i'm using heat um but if i do this and i put oh i put it's a 10 leave-in conditioner and i put um for kai's blowouts um spray on it so that way i have a lot of protection and i use bragaggio's um leave-in so this right now is how i am parting out my hair to do the u part so i'm leaving a substantial amount of hair out and i'm parting about like four inches into the hair so my part will be around four inches and I'm just measuring it like around to my ear what I just that's what I'm doing right now is just making sure it's like eating up to my like the top of my ear because that's usually a good parting space and I'm parting that side and I'm going to part the other side and I'm going to braid it down all right that way it's um out of the way and I don't get it into the other hair once i'm trying to clip it or braid the other hair down so this is it yes we are parting now when you're doing a u-part and you are even sewing it i'm not doing this but you want to sew anchor braids around the whole part and the edges of your hair the perimeter all the way to the back so you have one braid that's going around all your leave out connecting to your edges all the way to the back that way you can sew on the u-part wig but since i'm only doing clips i am just leaving just certain the perimeter and I'm not gonna braid anchor braid all right as you can see <clears throat> I wish you could see it a little bit better but I guess I moved a little bit closer and this I'm just going to put all my hair back and braid the front so we braided it and now we're just going to show you how look at that anchor braid in the back that's so that the clips can um, not the clips but the combs can go through the back of my hair and I have something to hold it in. So I'm just gonna braid my hair all the way up, all right? Braid everything back, okay? So as you can see, after I'm braiding everything, um, I am going to install this U-part wig. Yes, and you can see all my braids. So by installing this, I am, I have like three combs in the front, as you can see on my braids, I had three combs in the front, two on the sides, and two in the back. All right? 
So I am just basically putting the combs through the braid. Now, I didn't braid these small. If you braid them small, it's going to be kind of hard to get them through. It's going to feel like you're pulling your hair out, which is probably is because your braids are tight. So don't make your braids too, too tight. Just make them loose enough where you can get something through it. Like you could just lift it up a little bit. You don't want to break it too loose where it's not going to hold because you have to have the combs holding as well. All right, so we're just making sure that we're putting the sides down because this is like a super, I have enough combs, but this is not super secure. In, in just my opinion, I rather sew on my U parts, but this I found to be very, very time, um, it's very good on time, okay? You don't have to spend time. Because, okay, when you sew on a U part and when you have your hair out, you have to, I noticed that, well, honestly, no, maybe because I didn't do it right. If I had just probably put flexi rods in my own natural hair instead of pin curling it, it might have lasted. Because pin curls, I noticed it leaves like a dent. So what I do is just flexi rod it. Luckily, my hair is long enough where it'll flexi rod so it won't be so tight. It'll drop. I have some weight to it. So that's what I pretty much am um, do at night I don't curl my hair every day I just will curl it one time the first time and then I just flexi rod everything at night so that way when I wake up or if I take my hair out it'll be nice and curl but the curl is a little bit tighter but it's okay because I'm okay with the extra little bang curl I'm good to go with that all right Okay, so I am parting. This is going to be a side part, um, kind of like a deep side part. So sidebar, I did go back afterwards and did more of a um, kind of curved part. Yeah, because I did also do a press it out, press the leave out with a flat iron. Because as you can see, oh, you will see, it wasn't as like straight as I wanted it to be so right now I'm just pretty much just straightening the edges but I ended up taking a uh, flat iron and straightening my edges because it, this did not get it as straight and since the hair is straight I can't be having like frizzy edges and straight hair it's just not gonna look right so um I wanted everything to be okay and I pretty much am just straightening the hair with this curling iron so I'm curling it back all right, so it can give that kind of like nice curl bounce kind of feel. 
Now, this Carl and Iden is pretty good. It's Kaposi. It's, like, reasonably priced. It's, like, $35. Got it on Amazon. Um, Kaposi also has a website, K-I-P-O-Z-I. Or, yeah, Kaposi, C-O-P-I. I don't remember how to spell it. But... It's a very good curl line. It gets really, really hot in like 20 seconds. The flat iron is amazing. I've had it for years. Oh, my gosh. And the blow dryer is like super dope. Okay, I would compare it to like almost a Dyson, but Dysons are like $400 for the blow dryer. So if you want something that's nice, it's an ion blow dryer. It's really, really good. And I use like a ceramic curling iron. It's really, really good. Here, I'm just fixing the... um clip to the hair because I think it slipped out a little bit and who knows whatever but we're just going to keep curling this and flat ironing as we go along yes so what I did was since I already put like a blow dryer serum I wish I had put like a curling serum but I didn't so you know it is what it is but we are curling the hair all right So this is the final results, all right? So I will probably end up putting some, well, I don't know if I'm gonna put edge control over it or not because that's gonna also weigh the hair down. It's gonna be greasy. But this is the look. It looks very natural. I like the results. I'm going to, like I said, end up taking a flat iron to it um, just because it's not completely straight and it has a little bit of too much texture for me so i'm going to take a flat iron and i'm just going to recurl it and put curling um what uh curl rods in my hair so that way it just gives it a little bit more curl because i don't think the heat my hair just does not like the heat for some reason i do not know why it just does not curl with a curling iron for nothing but anyway thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed this video this is the you part wig tutorial later